This quick tutorial focuses on the Spotlight plugin, newly redesigned in FX Factory Pro. In Final Cut Pro, you can find Spotlight and its presets under the FX Factory Pro 6 Spotlight category in the Effects Browser. If you happen to be using Premiere Pro, After Effects, or Motion, look for it under the FX Factory Pro Stylize category. In Premiere Pro, as well as other video apps, presets remain accessible through a browser window or the new Quick Access menu. Spotlight comes with a large number of presets for static and animated lights. But for this tutorial, I'll start with a basic instance of the effect and introduce features gradually. When I first apply the filter, a single light is enabled. I can adjust its position and target through the on-screen controls. I can change its color, brightness, and shape through the inspector. The plugin supports up to four simultaneous lights enabled by a simple switch. Each light comes with its own separate set of parameters. The overall brightness and color temperature of the scene is configured through the ambient parameters. This is how your video looks when all lights are turned off or pointed away. Lights are applied to the scene through a blend mode. Classic uses an additive blend mode, a familiar and obvious choice for most lighting scenarios. But Classic has a habit of oversaturating colors, especially when brightness is turned up. New in FX Factory Pro 6, you can composite your light in a perceptual color space. This technique avoids oversaturation and aims for the most natural results, as if the light was presented on the scene when the video was shot. Perceptual blending works particularly well with darker lights. I'll switch back to Classic and settle on a warm yellow light for now. So far, I've been manually adjusting the position and target. Both parameters can be keyframed through the inspector. But I'd like to show you two more ways to position my lights that don't require keyframes. The next setup option is an object tracker. The plugin can track up to four objects in my video simultaneously and attach a light to each. I'll move the playhead to the start of the clip, set the initial position of each object through on-screen controls, and click the track forward button to begin the analysis. When done, I can enable the corresponding lights as needed. At first, lights are positioned directly above the object, but I can customize the angle and distance of the light relative to the object. Most of these parameters are animatable. You'll find advanced animation controls further down in the inspector. I'll leave these for another tutorial, but it's worth mentioning that Spotlight can easily animate in and out of the effect through the same build-in-out controls you'll find in other FX Factory Pro plugins. I'll switch to a different clip to show you the next time-saving option. Automatic face detection adds a light to each face in my video. Once I enable it, I just click the detect button to give the plugin a chance to analyze my clip. When done, I have a fully customizable light that follows the face across the frame. The previous clip only has one person, but the plugin can detect and light up to four faces at once. Look to the built-in presets for a better look at some of the more advanced lighting and animation techniques. These are available through a browser window or through the Quick Access menu. That's it for our quick look at the new Spotlight filter in FX Factory Pro. Download the trial version today at fxfactory.com and explore this and other powerful plugins in your favorite video apps. Create with a wide range of great video effects at fxfactory.com.